yeah so flat earth nation has just deleted the first ever message from me right and uh, he obviously didn't like what i wrote on his video this one and what i wrote was nice piece of slag glass there because he has made videos in the past where he walks down his local railway line picking up pieces of slag and slag glass and other bits of rubbish which is what this is right and uh, you know this is either like some type of fenton glass glass piece uh, you know they can make them into tropical fish and flowers and all sorts they make beautiful pieces <clears throat> and this could have had a few pieces knocked off it and then been put in an oven somewhere and it's melted like that and he's trying to make out that this is something that no one has ever taken or seen inside a rock ever not even Roger Spur has seen something like this because it's glass it looks like glass sounds like glass because it is glass it's slag glass and that's why he deleted my comment okay it's this video go look at it I'm back today because I know you guys don't like it when I keep saying how much proof much this proof guy's a right shit I mean, how much, I mean, I, I don't so mind this is the guy that started this so called mud fossil research off and then Roger Spur took it further which he is well let's have a look this video here where he's passing off this statue as being real <clears throat> this is actually real age of disclosures come out and said it's real that this is a being so if this is what mud fossil research has come to then i have to leave it behind and then straight after that is going on about this so-called dragon again that's he's calculating at 900 miles long well this guy believes he lives on a spinning ball so he needs to do the curvature calculation at 900 miles and work out what this dragon will be doing around the curve before he even comes out and says that the other shill to do with this is obviously age of deception I could have gone into a lot more detail with it, I just can't be asked with it because I mean it's so obvious. Like these here. Because this channel is mainly to do with mountains of being giants, right? But you can look at all these images in detail. At first I thought they were all Photoshop, but they aren't. They just stood at specific angles like this cheek here will be about five mile in front of this one here this will be two ten mile in front of this ridge here and you can make them look like faces right so basically if you was over the top of this thing it would be ranging about 50 mile right none of them are faces uh, if you don't believe me Yeah, so this is actually slag glass, right? And you can form them into these shapes and they look like living tissue, right? Which is exactly what that crap looks like, what he's showing. Again, that's, I think that's Fenton glass. Looks like flesh. Uh, obviously this isn't an artery, is it? And a vein, where the arteries blow out and all this and that. Yeah? It's glass. This is slag glass, which is exactly the same that's in the videos that he uh, put out to wise up. 
again you need to get familiar with this stuff because I think you're going to start having it run down your neck seeing as, as it seems a little bit desperate at the moment this is obviously railway slag and these aren't mud fossils are they but they've all got break points on them or, or it's going to start pointing out break points on, you know, to your imaginary ones this is what I mean by slag and it gets dumped down railways and this is where it's been getting all these specimens that's look flat earth nation has already made videos many of them where he's picking this stuff up and he's told you where he's getting it from if you don't believe me then go test me so age of disclosure these are meant to be faces of giants yeah but you know we all know that the human eye can be tricked can't we don't we This here is about 100 foot wide, right? You can see this cheek here is way beyond this ridge here, and that's what I'm getting at with this image that I'm going to get to shortly. So this obviously looks like a face because it's trees actually that's making it look like a, a face. You know, you can look at clouds, can't you? And clouds can look like faces, right? This is the image that's on his page, and this cheek here, you can see. It's completely separate and this ridge and the reason why that shadow is there is because it's about 50 mile behind it this is in front of this ridge which is in front of this ridge right and this is the nearest one and there's probably about a 200 mile difference here right because this is not a body that's inside this statue is it it's mud and mud rock this is not a statue a human being a mummy inside this stuff is it oh you can go believing that this thing was living at one time and that eyelids can literally turn into mud fossils